Hi there, this is Giovanni here at Fraptools and today we are checking a bunch of uh, technique for randomizing our Sapel's clock. If you aren't familiar with Sapel, I will link to its tutorial here and in the description. If you are familiar with Sapel, you may already know that each section has its own independent clock that runs a cluster of sample and hold circuits. Each clock is independent, so if we patch it to our CGM, we can hear a steady stream of drinks. This implies that if we use our random voltages to control any parameter, the sequence of those random values will be very steady. We'll have a pulse, we'll have a beat, because the clock is going straight. It is true for all the stepped random voltages, except for the fluctuating one, which has its own clock. Now, a huge part of those composition that used uh, random voltage generators also tend to use random clocks. So the, the, the random values appear at unpredictable moments. And there are a few ways of achieving this technique with Sapel. Now, if I take my straight clock from Sapel, I will have a steady stream of tricks. The first tip to have random clocks is of course the easiest one. Use the random clock output. In this case it is set to less than mode, so the global rate of change defined when it does not output tricks as opposed to the main clock. I combine it with any stepped random voltage, I will obtain this behavior. But if I have a longer tail, I can still hear that the sample and hold is generating more values because it is based on the straight clock. So, even if I set it to more than mode, when I have this even more unpredictable behavior, the generation, the random voltage generation for 2 to the n power n plus 1 or the sample and hold will rely on the straight clock. And you can still perceive a pulse underneath it. So, what if we want to have uh, not only a random clock, but also a, a random generation? We can take advantage of this input here, which controls the clock speed when set to the rightmost position. It is a modulation input. With a very simple cross-patching, we can patch the sample and hold output to the modulation input. So now, at every clock impulse, Sapel will sample a random value that will change the clock speed for the next one. This is a totally unpredictable clock behavior. But most importantly, the random clocks are now synchronized to the generation of new random values. You can experiment with other so modulation sources like the 2 to the n power that you can scale to achieve more subtle variations. Or let us go back to the sample and old and a more frantic behavior. You can take advantage of 
the probability distribution switch, which tells us the average magnitude of our random voltage generation. So if we set this knob all the way to the left, we will have a gentler variation, a slower clock, and if we rotate it to the right, we will go very close to the realm of clock bursts. The second technique uses the same input, but for another purpose. If we set this switch to the left, we will use the voltage that we patch to this input, not for controlling the clock speed, but to automate the button here. So for example, if I patch a gate signal from Falistri here, like the end of rise, like this, I will freeze this appell, which is especially fun if you have a fast clock. It is the same as doing this. Now, this input has a lower threshold and can also accept uh, continuous voltages, not only uh, trigs or gates. So if I set this Falistri as an LFO and use, for example, the unipolar output, I will have a moment where it just goes above a threshold and blocks this appell. Now, if instead of a listry, or if instead of a LFO, I patch to this input a random voltage, such as the fluctuating random, which, remember, is independent from this clock, I might obtain something quite interesting. Now, I have just blocked the clock, because my fluctuating random is always above this threshold, but I can engage the probability distribution also for this one and set it to a much lower value. And then play with the random speed. And this will generate random voltages. The normal clock is still working so if we want to remove it, we can just patch a dummy cable to the clock input. I can also take advantage of the red noise, which has very low frequency, a very low amplitude, and it just pairs well for this kind of purpose. The other noises, on the other hand, are quite fast for my taste, or too high. Please pay attention to the difference between using the noise as a gate and as a modulation source for the clock by setting this switch to the right. Let's go back to the beginning where we used the random clock outputs. Remember that they depend on the global rate of change. This knob defines the fluctuating random speed, but also, through its fluctuations, the moments where the random clock deviates from the norm set by the main clock output. If the switch is set to the upper position, every deviation from the norm generates more clocks. So, faster clock, faster fluctuating random voltages, faster deviation, more frequent. If it is set to the lowest position, the deviation from the norm is a clock that does not play. Now, 
the fluctuating random voltage speed can also be CV controlled. We can use our sample and hold circuit to change it and to have an even more unpredictable flavor. We can bring into place the, the probability distribution for the fluctuation. That can create sparser trigs. Or we can activate it for the sample and hold function. And this will create something like actual clock bursts. But the cool thing of this technique is that we still have an underlying regular pulse and voltage generation. Which means that if we use our clock to trig the usta, we can use this to control our sequence. So we can have a regular sequence playing, but with randomized envelopes. And these were a bunch of tips to create randomized clocks on Sapel. More will come in the future, so if you found this video useful, consider subscribing to the channel and staying in touch with us. I hope you found this video useful, and I will see you next time for more tips.